What's up YouTube? Big Daddy here. Time for another food review. Today, I'm over here at Popeye's and we're checking out something that's not exactly new to the Popeye's menu as much as it is new to me. So, I've been checking out some, doing a little research on how I can kind of eat fast food and yet still eat um, on a more healthy, fast, healthy level. So Popeyes has their chicken tenders, but they also have these things called blackened chicken tenders, which are grilled and they don't have any breading on them. So there's their blackened chicken tender. So I heard about these and they looked really awesome to me. And to go along with them, I have the blackened ranch sauce, which I'm assuming because it says blackened ranch sauce, it's meant for the blackened chicken tenders. So we're gonna check it out. Oh, it's kind of a uh, orange or pinkish kind of color, as far as the sauce goes. Mm. Mm. It's a nice flavor. So we're gonna check it out. The blackened chicken tenders. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think. I'm just gonna put the box down because it's getting kind of hard to hold. Now the only thing is, is with the blackened tenders, there's no breading. So it's a little messier when you eat it. And they don't look as large. And obviously, they're not crunchy. But the seasoning on here is really, really good. And it's got a nice kick. That blackened pepper. Wow. It gives it a lot of flavor. I would say, dare I say, way more flavor than the standard Popeye's tenders. But they are hot to eat by hand. I should have bought a knife and fork because I'm kind of burning my fingers for you guys. But they are good. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. So good. And the great thing is, is you don't get all the carbohydrates, but you will get from all the breading. And the chicken is really moist and juicy. I'm digging it. And this sauce adds nice flavor. Takes it up to another level. Oh good, they did give me napkins. Very, very messy. Now, I don't know if some of you are thinking, you guys gotta, gotta kinda know that when they give you the chicken tenders, if you get the combo, which is a drink and a side, most times you've seen me, I've gotten that mashed potatoes. So in order to make this a more keto friendly type meal, now I know corn is not considered um, the, the friendliest of vegetables when it comes to um, low carb, but I figure this has gotta be better than eating a giant bowl full of mashed potatoes and gravy. And it's gotta be somewhat healthy. So I didn't add anything to this. Oh, it's quite wet. Um, you get the nice corn on the cob. It's tasty. Could use a little salt. Gotta, gotta be honest. But that's okay. It's still good. Very nice. I'm gonna put this back in the box and eat another chicken tender. Oh. Chicken tender. So what would I rate this? 
Um, on a scale of one to ten, for the Popeyes blackened chicken tenders, I'm gonna give this a good, solid nine, nine out of ten. It's um got great flavor and definitely lower in carb and I think anybody on a keto friendly type diet or low carb this would be your answer if you were going to Popeyes anybody who just wants to eliminate the breading and the starch this would be your answer at Popeyes and let me tell you the flavor is through the roof with these it's you don't have that all that breading flavor. Which, don't get me wrong. I love Popeye's breading. It's great. And it's kind of the reason I didn't give this a 10. Because I really do like the crunch. I do miss the crunch of the breading. With the chicken tenders. It's part of the fun of eating the chicken tenders. Wow, it's hot in here. But, you know, if you're trying to lose weight. And sometimes sacrifices need to be made. And in this case, it doesn't feel that much like you're sacrificing that much if you're just losing out on some crunch. You're still full, you're still eating something that tastes really good. It's a home run, man. I would totally buy this again. That's nine out of 10 for the blackened chicken tenders at Popeyes. Go out and check them out and leave me some comments down below. Let me know down below. I always do down below. Down below. Hey, don't forget, we're looking at about five or six days until our big uh, 1,000 pennies for 1,000 subscribers giveaway ends. And once that's over, we'll pick a winner. Maybe we'll do another giveaway after that, but you won't be able to get into the, the first one. And I'll let you guys know. Sorry about the finger licking. It's just easier. Okay, the spice on those makes my nose run. So it's definitely kicking up. But I would say go out, share this video. Check it out. Uh, let me know what you think. And remember, folks, before you take the first... Oh, that one looks like I'm eating a frog. Before you take the first bite, you got to stuff it in your pie hole. Get the head in. Oh, yeah. Ribbit.